Security improvements are on the way for Union County High School football games. Well, the move comes after fights between students, fans, and even parents beyond the sidelines. The most recent brawl was last Friday, cutting Monroe High School's football game short. As Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce explains, the new safety protocols will start sooner than you think. Beginning this Friday, you are going to be limited on what exactly you are able to bring inside of a high school football stadium here in Union County. You will also be met with a deadline on when you can get tickets to get inside the game. This response is not a response from just Friday night. We have had too many issues throughout the fall uh, that this is we're creating this change. It's no longer about reacting to a problem, but trying to get ahead of the next one. For the past month, we have experienced a number of safety events uh, at our athletic events. Most recently, Friday, September 29th. A fight started outside the concession stand during the third quarter of the Monroe High School football game against Forest Hill. You know, you could obviously tell something was going on to the light. Then a few minutes later, we saw people run. And then it was chaos. Kimberly Morrison Hansley and her grandchildren were among those spectators nearly caught in the middle, which is why she has been taking her concerns to the board directly. What happens? at a ball game when you allow unlimited gate sales. Well, Friday night tells you what happened. Beginning October 6, if you attend a football game at a Union County Stadium, you will only be allowed to carry in a clear bag that's four and a half by six and a half inches. You will not be able to purchase a ticket after halftime, and all middle and elementary school students will be required to have an adult with them at any school event. You've got to draw a hard line in sand because it's not fair to people who come to enjoy the game. It's not fair to the students who come and do what they're supposed to be doing. It wasn't fair to those athletes not to be able to play their game. It wasn't fair to the band. It wasn't fair to the, to the teachers who have been there all day that stayed late and to have that happen. That's a disappointment for the whole community. These policies, similar to what you're going to find in districts across the state, what they've adopted, including some who have adopted rolling out metal detectors. That's not happening here in Union County. However, whenever it comes to the clear bag policy, there are going to be exceptions made with bags that are used for medical purposes as well as childcare purposes. In Union County, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.